Well, hi there, this is Chase Swift, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of spyware on your Mac. Now, I love Macs, and they are awesome computers, and most of the time, they don't get spyware things because a lot of times spyware is targeted for PC users, but you can get it on a Mac too, so I'm going to explain how to get that off. Now, I have some experience with this, and I actually did get spyware on my Mac, and I've had two other YouTube videos where I talked about that, but on this channel, I want to just share the knowledge on this channel, because I have a lot of subscribers that want to know more about their Macs. So, I went to a Mac store after I got some spyware, and someone hacked in, uh, they got my passwords, they could see my screen, it was a, a terrifying experience, but the point was, nothing happened because they they, were, they weren't smart, they tried to get into my uh, accounts and I was able to shut uh, accounts down and stuff like that but anyway I went to an Apple store and I asked uh, the representative you know how can I get it off my computer and he said there really isn't any software that can remove spyware but he did have a solution and he talked about spyware is kind of like a spy on your computer with a radio which means you can he can transmit your screen uh, from somewhere else. He can transfer, uh, you know, it's kind of like a spy transferring your screen information to someone else. That's a spy. And so that's what happens. It gets spyware on your computer and someone in a mask, is my representation of the spy, is looking at your screen uh, and they can be anywhere in the world. So it is definitely concerning. Okay, so how can you fix it? Well, you want a harmless spy. You want a spy that even if he gets on your computer, he can't broadcast any information out to anybody. So how do you get rid of spyware on a Mac? Well, you kind of have to, <clears throat> if you have it on there, you have to get rid of everything. You have to kind of nuclear bomb everything. You basically reformat your hard drive, okay? But it's, it's kind of like an analogy of blowing everything up, getting rid of everything. So the way you do that is you back up your entire hard drive. And you'll have the spyware on there as well, I know that. Um, then you're gonna format, which is erase your entire hard drive. That's kinda like the nuclear bomb. So you get rid of everything on your hard drive. You're gonna erase it, okay? Then you're gonna restore your operating system. And these are some of the older operating systems. But whatever the current operating system is, you're gonna restore that operating system back onto your computer because everything was wiped off. And then number four is you selectively restore files you know are safe from your backup, okay? Now I wanna talk about how to, if you don't have any spyware on there now, and maybe this is a new computer you just got, a new Mac. I wanna show you how to turn it on, uh, some software settings, so you never get spyware, never, okay? So you want a harmless spy. How to do that? Well, you go to your system preferences and uh, you can type firewall in the search and that little circle will show security and privacy. That's what you want to click. When you get there, make sure you click on the third tab, which is firewall. And then once you're on that tab, click on the right side to firewall options. And then... There are two little checks. They're probably off. They should be on. What they automatically do is prevent any third party or any program you're not running or any uh, script or anything that a spy might be running without you knowing. It turns that off. And, and the bottom one, enable stealth mode, means that your computer will not react to any um, incoming um, request for information like a spyware and then sending out your screen contents to that spy. It won't do it. So you definitely want to make sure enable stealth mode is on. Now the second one on top, the automatically allow assigned software, that's things like Skype, which you can share your screen. That is a program that your Mac knows is okay to share your screen because you're operating it then. So those two checks are really all you have to do, and then you just click OK. You'll then return back to the firewall screen, and I would click the lock in the bottom left to prevent any accidental 
changes made by someone on your computer that might just be checking things off. I, I want you to be the administrator, or you should be the administrator. So when you click that, the password for your computer is the only way anyone can check uh, and change that. So when you're done, it's just going to be padlocked safe. And that way you know that your firewall is set and you'll see a green light and it's on. And even if you get spyware after you turn all this on, it won't work. The spy won't send out, you won't receive any information because your computer is set up not to send out information from other programs, but only programs that you are yourself running. It's really, it's really brilliant. I, I love it. So again, remember, there isn't really any software that can remove spyware. So if you do have spyware, or you think you do, you may not even know. These are the steps to get get rid of it. And again, first get your computer set up with those two check boxes so that you don't get any future um, spies on your computer or spyware. And then you have to get rid of it by backing up your entire hard drive, formatting and erasing your entire hard drive, everything, and then restoring it with your operating system that you have, and then selectively restoring files from your backup that you know are safe. So that's the process, and I hope you enjoy this video, and hope you don't have any spyware ever again. This is Chase Swift. Have a great day.